Here's Storm Team 10 meteorologist Trevor Sonier. Welcome back. Temperatures already at 50 degrees in Lafayette, 44 in New Iberia, 44 in Opelousa. So a little bit of heat island effect there in Lafayette. That pavement's still hot enough where it's keeping us warmer than the surrounding areas. But temperatures will be falling very quickly for tonight either way. And I think we'll see a light freeze tomorrow morning. Uh, these clouds would be the only thing that would stop us from reaching that freezing mark. But I think these clouds are mainly going to miss us off to the north there. And we'll stay uh, mostly clear for tonight. So temperatures drop through the 40s, getting through the 30s and in the lower 30s by tomorrow morning. I'll say around 31 to 33. We'll take a look at that in just a second here. But future track shows mostly sunny skies for tomorrow and then for Saturday and Sunday. We'll see mostly sunny skies on Saturday, but by Sunday clouds will begin to increase and our next rain chance will come in by New Year's Day. So temperatures overnight tonight. Notice we fall to the lower 30s. I'll say around 31 to 32 for the I-10 corridor, 34, 35 for the coast, upper 20s possible across central parts of the state, mid 50s for tomorrow, and then another cold night for uh, tomorrow or Friday night and through Saturday morning. Could see a frost across the area and then warming up finally to near 60 degrees for Saturday afternoon. And the warming trend continues through New Year's Eve as well. So freeze preparations tonight, temperatures 30 to 34 degrees by morning. Protect the plants and the pets. This will not be pipe bursting cold. Usually that's 27 or lower and a longer duration freeze. Not anticipating that here, but be very careful with space heaters. We actually did a story on that earlier. Uh, house fires always increase this time of year due to uh, space heaters and things uh, like that. So just make sure you're using it safely. Plug a space heater directly into the wall receptacle and place the heater three feet away from anything combustible. And of course, always inspect those smoke alarms. Very good thing to do this time of year as it gets colder. Upper level low continues to sit overhead, giving us northwesterly flow through Saturday, but then another quick hitting system by Sunday night and Monday. It looks like most of that will be Monday morning, so hopefully our New Year's Eve plans will be okay. And then our next disturbance will be coming in on Wednesday. That subtropical jet stream looks like it will get active for much of next week. So 32 degrees your low tonight. Clear skies, cold, a northwesterly wind at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Mid 50s for tomorrow, mostly sunny. A west wind at 6 to 14 miles per hour. Seven day forecast has nice weather through Saturday. Warming trend on Sunday, upper 60s to near 70. Maybe just cool enough for a fire out there for New Year's Eve with temperatures in the 50s, but it won't be brutally cold. Lower 60s Monday with that rain chance on New Year's Day. 58 Tuesday, mid 50s Wednesday and Thursday. And notice that rain chance coming back into the forecast for Wednesday with that subtropical jet stream remaining active so it's been cool it's been wet so far very typical el nino winter yeah it's a beautiful 